Mobile police plan to uh, release their policies and procedures no later than the close of business on Friday. Yes, this determined after protesters stood outside Government Plaza on Tuesday demanding answers. Dana Winter spoke with protesters and police today, and she joins us now live from police headquarters. Dana? Well, Roseanne, police say the handbook is more than 800 pages long. When we sat down with Chief Batiste here this afternoon, he told us it could come out as soon as tomorrow, but protesters say that deadline was today. I sent him a text message and asking him where would I be able to obtain a copy of this policy that we asked for. Antonio Moore sent us this picture of his conversation with Public Safety Director James Barber, saying when Mobile Police's policies and procedures would be released. When it was not released on time, we went to Chief Lawrence Batiste for answers. We have to read every word in it because, again, if it involves our tactics or operational plans, uh, we don't want to release that kind of information to the general public. Chief Batiste uh, says he thinks the protester we spoke to has a personal reason for pushing for information. Well, let me speak to the idea that Mr. Antonio Moore, who happens to be the protester that's complaining, uh, but for the fact that Mr. Moore could not pass the rigorous standards of Mobile Police Department, he'd be on a different side of this issue. For him to make the remark that if I had been a police officer, I would see differently. It's not about seeing differently. See, that's the problem we have now. They want us to see it in perspective of a police officer, but what you need to see it as a perspective from right and wrong. Moore says he did go to the police academy for one day, but decided it was not for him. He says his main focus is getting two parts of police's policies and procedures. Their disciplinary part for officers' misconduct and their use of force when officers approach people. Chief Lawrence Batiste says it's important for people to know when the department's policies and procedures do come out. It's a living document, meaning it changes constantly. He tells people to review what they'll see, but also always be on the lookout for revisions. Reporting live outside of Mobile Police Headquarters, I'm Dana Winter for WKRG News 5.